Hey everyone, how's everyone doing today? So, I know this is like a very different video than I normally do, but I wanted to get on the bandwagon with this. I wanted to give this a try and see how it works out. So, <laughs> if you don't see me do this again, you know it just did not work out. But, I wanted to do like a talk with me nail um, little video and you know whatnot and I see those going around quite a bit so I wanted to try so anyway um, we're gonna paint my nails and we're gonna just do some chit chatting so I'll tell you what I'm going to be using so this is the color that I will be putting on my nails today this is Sally Henson insta dry and this is in the color cruising blue I hope you guys are able to see that. If not, I will make sure I do a bottle shot. But yes, I wanted to do this color because Lisa G Mad on Instagram. Hey girl. And she's also on YouTube. Wait, hold on. No, I don't believe that she does videos. I take that back. But she definitely is on Instagram. I will link her her Instagram down below so you guys can check her out. But she is doing a seven day a blue challenge and i am so late on this i didn't even know what was going on but i believe today is day five so i told her i'm gonna jump on this and i wanted to go ahead and do a blue and this is one of the blues from my um before summer ends what i wanted to put on the nail so it's gonna be this one by cruising blue so yes, and also I'll guess I'll tell you guys what I'll be putting on my nails before, you know, how I prep my nails and everything. Um, well, let me take that back. I prepped my nails already off camera, so I don't have to do all that because that's just too much. But I went ahead and used the cuticle uh, remover by Sally Henson. And then, of course, I went in with my orange wood stick, pushed back my cuticles, wiped it off. I used my KB Shimmer. Uh, what is it called sugar scrub which I absolutely love um and yeah so I will be using my Sally Henson triple strong and I like this one because it really gets my nails nice and hard now I don't use this every time I do a manicure um it could be every other time or every other other time because um I know there's some ingredients in here that are not very good, but it's what's working for me. So it is keeping my nails nice and hard and it's, it's a strengthener. So yes, I'll be doing that first. And then I have been loving this Orly Bonder. It's like a rubberized base coat. Absolutely love it. And my favorite top coat has been um, Sally Hensta Insta Dry Top Coat, and it's a fast top coat. So this is like, I'm close to being done. This is like my second bottle. I really like this stuff. I was like a Seche V fan, which I am, but I just hate that Seche V is so expensive. And you know, I'm looking for other alternatives. So I don't have to break the bank all the time because $10 a bottle for that was, yeah. I'd rather have some color on my nails. I'd rather pay for a nail polish that has color, but you know, with $10 than a top coat. So anyway, let's get going. So, anywho, I had just taken off that orange shimmery manicure that I had going on. Please follow me on Instagram and you would know which one I'm talking about. But yeah, I know this lighting is not the very best. But ah, y'all getting in the realness now. Okay, don't be coming for me. Be like, girl, you need some practice. I know I do. You ain't gotta tell me. But this is how I do things. And my bottle is running low, so I'm having to tip it. But, um, so today is Thursday and my last video, actually, uh, what was my last video? I had did my hair and I was telling you guys about the weather being icky and whatnot. 
and it really is icky icky right now um that's hurricane's supposed to be making its little entrance soon so yeah and it's crazy because my son is a part of school football and he's in he's in an outside league and the outside league they're just like so gun hole serious like it's nfl type and they're like we're having practice today i'm like oh my gosh are you serious they are serious i wonder how this is looking <laughs> i'm so sorry y'all i am i'm so new to this but i gotta learn Are you guys like product, not necessarily product junkies, but do you guys love using a lot of product? Like I'm like a product hoarder, not hoarder. What is the correct word or term? I use a lot of product. I really do. As you can see, like I know some people like to use, you know, dip their brush in and use it for like two nails and stuff like that not with this stuff like maybe because it's like getting thick and i'm getting to the bottom of it but man i just feel like i feel like this stuff is like i have to dip it and get globs of it just for it to run smooth anybody else use this um strengthener And I always cap my ends, whether it's, you know, a base coat, whatever. I just, just, it's just a habit. Okay, so we're going to go in with Orally. And sometimes I let it sit just for a few minutes. And I already bumped this one. Oh, my God. But thankfully, it's so thick. And it didn't mess it up. Anyway... Oh gosh, so what were we talking about? But yeah, my son, he has practice, so my husband is there now with him. And it just looks so bad outside. But they are serious. But yeah, my kids are out of school tomorrow too. They called it off. hard. I don't know how y'all be doing this. I don't know if it's because of the way that I have my dang camera angle, but shoot. Oh my goodness. I kind of got too much on this finger. Oh, you guys. I'll get it. Oh my gosh, why is this so goopy? I never run into this problem. Of course I have to run into this type of problem on camera, right? Like it has to be that way to show that, yeah, you don't know what you're doing. Right? Look at that. Oh my God. Okay, I think I put entirely way too much. <sighs> Wait, hold on. You think? Isn't that the term? You think? So, so who lives out in Florida? Who's been affected by this? How was your area? And I, uh, and also the Carolines too, because that's where it's kind of in that area as well, North Carolina right now. See that? Just gonna pull that. Pull that. There we go. 
All right, even though this is a rubberized base, I am not going to um, go in immediately with my color. I'm just gonna sit here for a second because I think I need a few minutes for this to settle. But yeah, can you guys see that? My nails are getting so long and they are so yellow. <laughs> Team yellow nails. It's all good. They're healthy though. That's all that matters. But um Yeah. So who's excited about fall? I am. I have a lot of old polish from when I started like years ago collecting, excuse me, years ago collecting. And then I had a period of time that I stopped for years. But I have some really old ones that I absolutely loved. And I'm kind of excited about getting those on the nail. You know, um, I used to love, and I still do, um, finger paints. And I have some really nice fall ones that I'm excited about putting on the nail. So, and then also, I had so many um, sinful colors. And I'm looking, and I'm like, there are some that are missing. And I'm wondering, where the hell did those nail polish go? I don't know if I threw them in the trash or gave them away. But there was a few that I know that I'm missing. And I'm like... There's this one in particular that is a sinful color and it was a blue and it, well, it was borderline teal. Absolutely loved it. I can't find it in my collection and I have no idea where, where it went. Like, so that's what happens when you move so many times and you have, you know, different companies moving you. And that stuff just happens. All right, so let's go in. Ooh, that's so pretty. This is my first time wearing this one, so I'm excited about that. I'm over here thinking, okay, you gotta be quiet. You gotta swipe. You gotta swipe it good. You know, when I first got into nail polish, a um, long time ago, um, before I, way before I even knew what an indie was, just the mainstream, I would watch on YouTube just different videos, like one person that I used to follow, and I actually still follow her. Her name is pretty little pleasures pretty pleasures or something like that i'll link that later i mean down below but to me she has always been the queen of marble marble nails like whenever i would watch her oh my gosh just her designs and stuff my girl i remember when i tried that crap for the first time ew very ew that was so ugly. I was so mad at myself because I was like, man, you took all that time on one dang nail and it still looked like garbage. There we go. So that's one, one coat. But I've learned a lot doing nails over the time that just to get that perfect nail coverage you know don't you don't have to get so close to the cuticle like because i noticed i i would flood my cuticles like crazy back then and couldn't understand how these girls were getting it so nice and and I wasn't paying attention to the fact that they weren't getting, they weren't going like all the way up the freaking cuticle. They would, um, 
you know, go right below it. I didn't get it. <laughs> I was the newbie. She still am a newbie. I have, I mean, over the years, like I said, I've collected nail polish, but I stopped for so long that honestly, it's just, I feel like I'm new. That's point blank period. I'm new. Like if you don't know what an indie nail polish is, I feel like you are definitely new. You have not been, ooh, I got it on my thing, my desk. <sighs> thumbs, thumbs, thumbs. But I'm not going to lie, I'm actually better when it comes to free, freehand. I just don't do no freehands no more. Um, because I just, I don't know, I, I want my nail polish to show. If you know what I mean, like the actual color. I just want the color to speak, you know, kind of for itself. Ooh, don't mess up. Oh, look at that. You already messed that up. Let's go back in and put a dot there. How about that? Let's put a little dot there. And get that to lay down. There we go. So anyway, let's just put one hand in. So, this is a really pretty color. Like I said, I have been feeling blue. Like, I don't know. I've never been a blue lover on nail polish, but these are pretty. All right, let's do another, another coat. Oh my gosh. I'm just jacking my nails up. <sighs> y'all, this is hard. I don't know how y'all do this. I don't know. Cause this dang thing, this tripod is all in my dang way. And I can't see. I feel like I'm going to need to do some cleanup. And I don't normally have to do a whole lot of cleanup. But uh, it looks like it's going to be like that today. Well... Honestly, I think I probably could have got this opaque in um, one coat, but um, that second coat just kind of evened everything out, and you know, I kind of messed some of my nails up, so the second coat was just definitely going to top it off. There we go. Okay. Let's do this thumb. Y'all see that? I was about to flood that cuticle. Do you guys find this like therapeutic? Like, um, like ASMR? Is anybody into that kind of stuff? I, I am. Well, some of it. Not, not all. Not all. I'm going to move this because that's just not working for me. It's in the camera. But yeah. That's too much. Way too much on the brush. I'm like really a big Halloween fan. So I'm like really excited about all these different um, nail polishes, mainstream and indies. What, what are we in for? I don't know, like... I can't wait.
who was it? I think it was Phoebe Moonshine. She already did. I don't know who was it. Who was it? I think it was a mainstream brand um, that already ha um, that already has their Halloween line coming out, or is it coming out, or is it already out? I can't remember, but. I'm like really excited about purchasing some of those. If I remember, I'll link that video down below because she literally just recently um, did some swatches for whatever brand that was. I can't remember at this moment, but there were some cute ones. But yeah. Okay, so. I better not mess up my nails. I just better not mess them up. But this is so pretty, isn't that? That's pretty. Okay, so we will in a few seconds go in with this. But I'm going to wait a few seconds because, yeah. i just been jacking up my smudging my nails and I don't want to do no more but I'm gonna show you guys something aren't these so cute like these right here can you guys see that isn't that so cute my girlfriend she made these for me to, to stick on my purses they're like a really strong magnet she made that pink one and then she made this one too so both of these isn't that cute I thought those were so cute so I'm deciding on what bag I really like the maroon one since we're coming into fall I think that's really pretty and this one's really cute for like summer and spring and stuff like that so yes. I'll probably end up doing a review on that and letting you guys know how good of a magnet that is but yeah I thought that would be kind of cute to put on the little bag because that's how she advertised it I think she put it on her her pochette accessories which I have two of them and yeah probably put it on one see how I feel about that but anyway all right so let's go in with this and hoping to God praying that we don't smudge the nails while what is this blue I hope this is an old okay I was about to say you see that smudge right there I'm over here thinking oh my god I think I did that a little earlier. All right, let's move all this stuff because I'm clumsy as heck. And this one also is running out, as you can see. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to tip this bottle as well. So, you guys, please bear with me on this. Goodness gracious. And I glop this one on, too. makes it so much more shinier I feel like I have to like double dip with my thumbs. I feel like they're so wide. Okay. All right, so that's it of that one. And let's switch to this one. It just got really 
Yeah, I dyed my daughter's hair. And, like, I don't know if I'm too happy with it. Like, I really wanted it more vibrant, but at the same time, I didn't put bleach. I'm just so not trying to do bleach. But her ends are light, you know, just the lightest because of the sun really, really, really lighting her hair over the summer. So I, I dyed it like this really pretty teal, like it's a turquoise. It's really pretty. But man, I just really wish the color came out a little bit more brighter. And, but you know, I think I said this in my last video, she loves it. So, you know, that's all what matters, right? It just reminded me, this color just reminded me of the color that was on the package of her dye, but it didn't come out this way. It came out more like really, like really vampy turquoise, that deep, deep turquoise, which is really pretty, but I just, I don't know, I thought it was gonna be brighter. But anyway, y'all know me, I will continue to keep talking and whatnot, but yes, I think that's gonna be the end of this, you guys, and yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any suggestions on how I should angle this camera, position my hands, lighting, please let me know because as you guys know, I am new to this. And anything, any constructive criticism will be appreciated and um, replied back to. Anything negative, you already know you ain't gonna get nothing from me. Just go ahead and argue with yourself, but um, Love you guys and keep our nails polished. Bye.